Just wanted to shoot one more update video here on the drywall. Let me zoom out here real quick. Um, so as you can see in the last video, if you remember from the last video, uh, all the wallpaper had been taken off. I've now got my first coat, my first skim coat on uh, this side of the stairway. I started a little bit on the other side. I was really just using the leftover mud that I had from the other side here. I went on pretty easy for the most part. You can see there are some thin spots there. It just didn't really want to stick there. So I'm hoping now that I actually have a uh, thin coat of mud there uh, that it will actually uh, stick much better now. Still have to go uh, over the garage door here and then up next to the kitchen door and then over that. But let's zoom back in here to normal. And let me walk down the stairs because what I wanted to update everybody on was the sanding process. So if you've ever done drywall in the past, even if you've just done like a, a little repair job on a, a hole in the wall, uh, you'll know that there's a lot of uh, dust when you end up sanding. Well, one way I tried to combat that was by purchasing the dust control mud which is supposed to have 25% less dust as you are sanding, which is good. And then my wife also bought this sand and clean dustless drywall sanding system. So let me show you how that works. So in order to use this, you have to have a shop vac. So if you don't have a shop vac, highly recommend picking one up. But essentially what it does is the, what comes inside that box is this bucket and this bucket acts as a filter between the sander and the vacuum itself. So you're not getting the, the majority of the dust inside the vacuum. If you look here, you can see there is drywall dust inside the hose. So there is some going in there, but you're not getting the majority of it. The majority of it is going inside of this filter here. And again, this filter is just a bucket that it, that it comes with. And what you do is you add water, as you can see, so this fills with this line. And you've got your... Uh, sander here and I've just attached a, uh, um, a screen here for sanding and what you do is you just turn the, the vacuum on it creates a, a suction through here you can actually see the uh, lid kind of suck in and then this has you can probably see that in the video here this has different holes inside there and as you are sanding the dust gets sucked up through that and goes inside of the filter bucket now, if we look around at the floor, I'll just look at this particular wall here, you'll see that there's very minimal dust here at the joints. Going all the way down the wall here, very minimal dust. And this thing works fantastic. Can't recommend it enough. So if you're doing any sort of um, drywall job in your house, highly recommend picking up this, this sanding system because it's, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, you do have to pick up, a, it does come with a few screens. Those are, I believe, 150 grit. What I'm using for the, the final sanding here is 220 grit. So I did have to purchase those separately. And I bought a package, I think there's 10 of them in there. I've gone through, I wanna say, probably half of those so far. Um, but I've got, looking back this way, I've got that wall all the way around all the way around and this wall finished and then i did go up and over on the beam here and then down this side so what i haven't done yet is this wall and i've not done anything so once we pass under the beam i've not done anything on this wall or going up the stairs yet so this this side of the stairway get to wait until i get my two coats on for the sides here with the skim coat and then I can do the final sanding on that. But now that I've got, or once I finish sanding this, once I get that done, what I plan on doing is just doing a really quick sweep uh, with just a broom, knock off the any leftover dust, and then I plan on starting the, the priming process. So once it's primed, we can, we're ready to paint. So this is coming along fairly well. I would like to have the entire thing primed by the end of March when my daughter's birthday is. Not that we're gonna use this space, but that's just kind of a, a target date that I'm shooting for. And as soon as it's primed, we're gonna start with uh, the painting. And like I said in a previous video, I hope to have someone in here to start carpeting um, by mid-April. So that's the timeline I'm sticking to, and 
we'll see uh we'll see how close i get <laughs>